so what's up guys hope you are doing well i'm mesh from tech mesh and today i'm going to show you that how you can install all store on your iphone so i will show you step by step on how you can do that so stick with me and follow each step properly all right so first i will show you the things you need for installing this application on your ios you mainly need to have a windows pc or a macbook so first just head over to your google chrome or any browser in your pc and search for all store all right so here you can see all store.io so i will also put all the links in the description so just go to their website so this is their official website so you mainly need to here just here scroll down all the way so here you can see downloads option so there are two options available all server for windows and all server for mac os so as i am in my windows laptop so i will download all server for windows so here you can see an all store installer.zip file has been installed so we mainly need to extract this zip file so just click on extract to and let's click on ok so here our file has been now extracted and you also need to install iCloud and iTunes. So just here search for download iCloud. I will also put the link in the description below so you can directly download it. So here you mainly need to download the iCloud. And then here you mainly need to install the iCloud. So I will also put the link to download the iCloud in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. So this is just basic software installation. So I will just fast forward this process. All right. So our iCloud installation is now finished. So after installing iCloud, you may need to restart your computer. So I will be back after restarting. You also need to download iTunes. So here the search for download iTunes. I will also put the link in the description below. So let me just scroll down a bit. So here you can see download iTunes for Windows from microsoft so here just click on download so the same way you also need to install the itunes installer so i already have the itunes installed on my device so if you already have it then click on help and then click on check for update so if there is an update available for your itunes you need to update your itunes because to get the software up and running all store up and running on your device you mainly need to get the latest versions of itunes so now we have our itunes and icloud installed on our windows device now it is time to install the all store so just here go to the extracted file and then just click on this setup file and run it as administrator so here this is the basic software installation just click on next so here you can also select just me so i will select everyone so you can also select this everyone so then click on next next and that's it so just click on close so now we have installed the all store server on our windows pc so now you mainly need to connect your iphone via a usb cable to your computer or laptop so we have connected our iphone now so it now you mainly need to launch the all server that you have just installed so here just search for all server and click on run as administrator and then click on allow so here in your tray you can see the uh, icon so just tap on here and tap on connect to iphone and then you here you mainly need to here put your gmail and password your apple id and your apple id's password so here they are saying that your apple id and password are not saved and are only sent to apple for authentication so do not worry about security because they are not saving your apple id or password they just sent it to your iphone so after putting this apple id and password and then just tap on install so now here in my iphone you can see that the all store is now installing and now it is successfully installed so here you can see the all store logo is now showing up in our iphone but the process is not done yet all right so let me show you so if you if you just tap on your all store it would say untrusted developer you so you mainly need to solve it by go to the settings of your device and then go to general and then in your general you mainly need to here scroll down a bit and then tap on vpn and device management 
and then under vpn and device management you can see developer app so under developer app you should see your apple id so here just tap on your apple id and then here you can see at all store just tap on trust so here we have just here added it to our trust list so now we are good to go we also need to do another step in our settings so just go to the settings and then go to just go to the settings of your iphone again and then scroll down and then go to privacy and security and under privacy and security here you mainly need to scroll down all the way and now you should find the developer mode so just tap on it and then enable the developer mode here so here and then you mainly need to restart your iphone so just tap on restart so now my iphone has been booted up again so if we if you just click on all store again now now it is saying that it is working so just click click on allow and then again click on allow so now here you can see that the all store is working perfectly fine on my iphone so here you can see that it is working properly so let me just show you if i just try to download an application here let's say we want to download it then you you again need to put your apple id and password here and there it they, they are saying that they like they would not use your credential so do not worry about the security all right so here it is saying that how it will work you need to launch the all server and then you need to keep running it on on background on your computer and then you also need to like if you do not want to always plug the usb cable you can also connect to wi-fi but for that you mainly need to go to your an itunes and then enable itunes wi-fi sync and connect to the same wi-fi as the the all server all right so i will show you that how you can do that so here in our windows search let's search for itunes let me just open the itunes here and in your itunes just tap on your here iphone icon here and then scroll down all the way and here tick, tick mark this option sync with this iphone over wi-fi so you mainly need to select it and then tap on done and then click on apply and that's it now your if the all server is running in your background and you are in the same wi-fi network as your like windows pc or laptop and your iphone then you can easily install any application using your all, all store all right so here you can see that now we can easily like download this delta application here so now we have installed the delta app here via the all store on our iphone so that's it this was a quick tutorial on how you can install all store on your iphone so if you like this video don't forget to give it a like and if you have any question or any suggestion then let me know that in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so i'm mesh from tech mesh and i'm signing out